Praise be to God. My name is Bindu Dixon. I'm going to teach you in standard 4. The name of our book is Sacraments and the first chapter is also Sacraments. Now tell me children, are you all happy? Yes, don't you think the world we live in is so beautiful? The fruits, the flowers, the trees, the plants, everything is so beautiful. God has created his nature so beautifully. Don't you feel like praising God? Okay, then let's praise our God and thank for his wonderful creations. So we are going to learn an action song now. Okay, I'll tell you the lyrics. Uh, very, it's very simple. Here goes. Praise him, praise him, praise him in the morning, praise him in the noon time. Praise him, praise him, praise him when the sun goes down. Love him, love him, love him in the morning, love him in the noon time. Love him, love him. Love him when the sun goes down. Serve him, serve him. Serve him in the morning, serve him in the noon time. Serve him, serve him. Serve him when the sun goes down. Okay, clap your hands and do the actions with me. Okay, are you ready? Well done children, you all did very well. Uh, how beautiful is the world we live in. The sun, the moon, the stars, mountains, sea, rivers, trees, trees flowering and bearing fruits, a green earth. So can you please tell me your favorite fruit? Apple, mango, oranges, uh, strawberry, grapes. Well, it all looks so nourished. It looks so fresh and yummy. Now look at these fruits, children. All rotten, dry and dull. Why do you think it's like that? Yes, well said. You're right. Because it's fallen from the tree. Look at this picture and tell me, children, what will happen if the flower is cut off from the plant? Will it have life? No, it will die. Dear children, look at this. What's it? It's a bulb and it's a wire. The, is the bulb working? No, it's not working. Why is it not working? Because there is no connection. Okay. See, the bulb is working now because it's connected to the wire. Likewise, when we stay connected to Jesus, we are like good children. Okay, what Jesus said, you know, I am the wine and you are the branches. Those who abide in me bear much fruit. So my dear children, Jesus is the wine and we are the branches and God the Father is the gardener. This shows the true relationship between man and God. I am the wine and you are the branches. Okay, like the fruitful branch represents people who listen to the word of God and lives a holy life. And my dear children, do you lead a holy life? Do you obey your parents? Huh? Do you listen to your parents? 
Do you do your homework? Hmm? Do you pray every day? Do you study well? Do you help others? When you do all these things, you are obeying God. Now listen to your text. If a branch of the tree is cut off, we know what will happen to it. It withers and dies because it does not receive nourishment through the roots. Then how can that branch bear fruit? Have you not heard the parable of the wine told by Jesus? Okay, children, take your Bible. The Gospel of St. John, chapter 15, verses 5 to 6. Here goes. I am the wine and you are the branches. Those who remain in me and I in them will bear much fruit, for you can do nothing without me. Whoever does not remain in me is thrown out like a branch and dries up. Such branches are gathered up and thrown into the fire where they are burnt. And now children, what do you understand from these verses? The image of a branch Gaining all its sustenance and strength from the parent wine is a beautiful description of man's total dependence upon God, without whom we can do nothing, for in him we live and move and have our being. The whole idea is that of being fruitful. The primary desire of our life is to bear good fruit for our Lord. Just like that, Jesus deeply unites himself to every part of our life through the sacraments. What are sacraments? Sacraments are streams of life instituted by Jesus for us to remain in him and have life. Sacraments are visible signs of invisible God. Sacraments are signs to experience the invisible God and invisible Savior who loves us. We'll learn more about sacraments in our next class. Today, I have an assignment to give. Are you all ready? So you do one thing. Draw a draw a stick a picture of grapes in vineyard and memorize the verse John 15, 5 to 6. Uh, here is a song which will help you to memorize this verse. Okay, children enjoy the song. Have a nice time. See you next week. Bye-bye. God bless you all.